all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew princess that bustier gown okay princess that bustier gown if this is your first time of coming to my channel please check out our facebook page to the designs and also our instagram to the designs and also visit our website we have amazing fashion illustration on our website all the details are going to be in the description box below so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your princess that bustier gown we have our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and our gown length so our shoulder measurements is 16 we have 16 divided by 2 we have 8 our bust is 42 42 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 12 inches our waist is 34 34 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11 inches our hip is 44 44 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 12.5 our gown length is 31 so 31 plus 2 inches we have 33 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your princess dust bust now you will discover that for our bust we have plus 1 and for the waist we have plus 2 this is because the plus 2 we have on the waist is because of the bustier that we are going to have and that's because we are going to have like extra that on the waistline that is why we went ahead to add plus two to the waist because that's where you're going to have your that okay so if you have any questions in the course of this video please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on you can also drop that in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial. Guys, the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and draft our pattern before we transfer to the fabric. So we'll go ahead now and mark the basic measurements that we need. So we have our shoulder to arm O. Show that to arm of nine and a half. Show that to arm of nine and a half. Show that to under bust fourteen. Show that to waist. Bust to waist eight inches. Waist to hip nine inches. Now I have a tutorial on how to know your basic measurements. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and link down, link, put the link in the description box below so you can understand how to get your bust to waist, waist to hip, hip to your knee length. I have a detailed video on that. So I'll go ahead now and connect the lines together. We have. So the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our dart measurement. So my dart measurement is four and a half four and a half you mark it up to your waistline you have four and a half now from your waist to your hip is nine inches but waist to upper hip is six inches now why do we have six inches at the upper hip it enables you to know where your dad gets up to because normally your dad doesn't get up to your hip area so from your waist to your upper hip is six inches which happens to be where your dart line will end so i'll go ahead now and connect it this way you can see what it looks like so on the waistline now we'll go ahead and mark half inch on both sides mark half inch on both sides and then we'll connect the lines together connect the lines together now because what we want to achieve because what we want to achieve is princess that bustier, you will go ahead and connect this your dart line to the shoulder. Extend your dart line 
to the shoulder line this way we've extended it now to the shoulder line now on your shoulder line go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder line go ahead and mark five inches so connect this five inches now to your bust point your bust line you connect it this way you can see what we have now on the under bust on your under bust mark half inch on both sides on your under bust mark half inch on both sides so once you are done with that now you take your pattern master and then you connect the lines together now you've connect your under bust line You've connect your under bust line to your bust line. So to connect your bust line now, your under bust to your waistline, you are going to make use of this inner part of your pattern master. And pattern masters are available at our store. So I'm going to put down the details if you want to get yours. So this is what it looks like basically. Now the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and close your shoulder darts. Go ahead and close your shoulder darts. So by the time you close up your shoulder dart, you can see what we have. Now by the time you close your shoulder dart, you can see that this bust area automatically pop up. Now the reason why it's popping up is because this is the effect of our bustier. This is the effect of the bustier. You can see it has popped up to give you that bust effect. Now, next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements go ahead and mark your shoulder measurements our shoulder measurement is eight inches make sure you close your shoulder that before taking your shoulder measurement so we have eight inches for our shoulder now for our bust measurements bust measurements we have 12 inches so you can open it up so that you make sure that you have a straight line when taking your measurement so now our bust is 12 inches Take your waist measurement. Our waist is 11 inches. 11 inches. Now our hip measurement is 12.5. On your gown length, right, you go ahead and deduct one and a half inches or two inches. It depends on how tiny or how pencil you want the shape of your gown to be. So yeah, I have 12 and a half. I'm going to deduct about two inches. So I will have, mark what I have here right so you go ahead now and connect the lines together it's actually very easy so you connect the lines together connect it to your waist your waist hip to waist this way waist to your bust you can see what we have you can see what you have by the time you are connecting the lines together. Now, the next thing you are going to do now is to connect your bust to your armhole. Making use of this armhole curve, which comes in the set of our pattern master. So you connect the lines together. You can see what we have. Now, because what we are dealing with is princess that bustier. Princess that bustier. Now, we are going to get our princess that in order for you to get your princess that all you have to do now is to check what you have in your arm hole that is from your shoulder to your arm hole we have nine and a half inches shoulder to arm hole you have nine and a half inches all you have to do now is divide your arm hole by two divide your arm hole by two so we are going to have five inches almost five inches so you go ahead now you go ahead now and then you come down with one inch. Come down with one inch. Let me explain what I mean by that. Now, our shoulder to arm hole is nine and a half. You have nine and a half divided by two. Now, you will come down with one inch. Come down with one inch. So, I'm going to mark about six this way. Come down with one inch. This is what we have. This is what we have now you will connect this now to your bust point you will connect this to your bust point because that's where you are going to have what your princess that shape so you connect it this so don't forget that you have your dart line coming and then you connect it to your bust point connect this now to your bust point 
can you see this is basically what we have now because this is basically what we have this is what we have and it's so easy guys so the next thing we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead now and mark our neckline we go ahead and mark our neckline i'm going to make it of three and a half inches for the wideness of my neckline three and a half inches and why for the depth is a very deep v neckline so it's going to be somewhere around my bust area so you can mark any neckline that you want it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of the day but for me i want like a deep v neckline so i've gone ahead now to mark my neckline so the next thing i'm going to do now if you have any question please feel free to drop it in the comment section okay now i'm going to go ahead now and cut this out i've gone ahead to open it up at this waistline because we are going to part where we have our princess that bust here we are going to part it and you can see how it comes up let me zoom it in you can see how here has popped up already even without padding your your dress already so you can see that padded effect now we've gone ahead now to open this up so we'll go ahead now and cut out these darts so now i've gone ahead now to cut out where we have our princess darts and you can see we have two pieces this way for the upper block and for the lower block we have a single piece so we'll go ahead now and set this aside cut out the back block so we've gone ahead now to mark our basic measurements just like the way we have it for the front block so what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and mark our zip allowance so i'll go ahead and mark two inches for my zip allowance and i'll connect it all the way down That the next thing you are going to do now is you are going to go ahead and mark your dart measurement which is four and a half mark your dart measurement which is four and a half we'll go ahead now and connect the lines together on the waistline we'll mark half inch on both sides on the waistline we'll mark half inch on both sides We'll go ahead and connect it together. We'll go ahead and connect it together. So the back block, we don't really have so much going on at the back block. So we'll go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurements, which is 8 inches. Mark my bust measurements, which is 12 on the waistline, I'll mark my waist measurement, which is 11. On the hip line, I'll mark my hip measurement, which is 12.5. Now, for the gown length, the number of inches you deduct for the front is also what you are going to use for the back, okay? Now, we go ahead now and connect the lines together. So, for my back block, I'm making use of my basic darts in the back block, okay? I'm making use of the basic darts because I don't have any bust going on at the back, okay? So, that is the reason why I'm leaving my back block at just like the basic back block. So, I will go ahead now and connect it, making use of my ample curve and connect the lines together. Now, this is what we have. On our arm O, we'll go ahead and mark one inch for our shoulder slope. Go ahead and mark one inch for your shoulder slope and mark your neckline. So we made this of three inches. I'll go ahead and mark that. So for the for the deepness of my back block. So because my front block is deep enough, I don't I don't want the back block to be too deep, okay? I don't want the back block to be too deep. So I'm going to make it of 7 inches. Note that it depends on what you want for your back block. So I'll go ahead now and connect it to have a square neckline and then I'll connect my neckline now to my arm o. So this is what we'll be having for the back block. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. So, 
For the back block now, this is what we have. We have a single piece for the back block. I'm not opening it up at this part because what I have is like a basic back block. So we'll go ahead now and transfer this to the fabric. So guys, I'm making use of this African print and african prints are available this is so beautiful guys so african prints are available both in wholesale and in species so we'll go ahead now and fold our fabric into two i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric into two after folding my fabric into two i placed my back block on it and then i'll go ahead and cut this out to give us two pieces for the back block so once i'm done it's after cutting it out this is what we are going to have you are going to have two pieces for the back block so i'll go ahead and set this aside it's now for the lower side of the front block i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two i placed my pattern and then i went ahead to cut this out so we are going to have one single piece for the lower side or for the upper block also you go ahead and fold your fabric into two place your pattern and then you cut it out so once you are done this is what you are going to have once you are done this is what you are going to have so you can see the princess that effect you can see the princess that shape you can see our princess that shape and we have our deep v neckline now for the lower part of the front block we've gone ahead now to place our lining all you have to do is to stitch this part after stitching the two sides you will turn it out to give you a single piece so for the back block also we have two pieces you will also go ahead and place your lining this way you will stitch this part so I went ahead to stitch my armhole because it's a sleeveless gown and then you will use the lower part to turn it out to give you a single piece like this. So for the front block now, you go ahead and stitch the two sides together. You go ahead and stitch the two sides together and I have my wording. I'm making use of the wording. So you just place your wording this way. Go ahead and stitch it together to give you a single piece. For the lining also, you also go ahead and place it this way. Stitch your neckline, your armhole and the sides. After that, I'll show you guys what next you have. For the front block now, we've gone ahead to join the upper block to the lower block this way to have one single piece. Now, the next thing you are going to do is that you are going to go ahead and make use of your bust measurements, waist measurements, and hip measurements to couple this up. So, 